Hey guys, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. So I did avoid Black Friday shopping, but I did venture out today on Saturday to check out some of these old school doorbuster sweater deals at Target and at JCPenney. My first stop was JCPenney, and this is a sweater by the brand A New Day. This is originally $20, but it was a $10 doorbuster. It is 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, so I do like the natural fibers in there. It came in a variety of colors. I have it here in the fuchsia pink color, which I love. I love the v-neck. It is cropped. We're not showing any belly, so I think this is a cute sweater. Um, the biggest thing is there wasn't a lot of color variations left in the store, um, so that would be the biggest challenge if you're doing sweaters, uh, doorbusters at Target. Next sweater here is by Universal Thread. This is a crew neck. This is an XL because they didn't have a large. Um, it is called a red color. Again, it's a cotton blend. $10 doorbuster. I think this was really cute. I ended up not getting this one because I don't love crew necks and I wasn't sure if I love this marled color, but as I said, there were some other colors and there were even some stripes. So I think this was a good deal if you are interested in a a sweater at a bargain price. So the third sweater I tried on was actually in what I think is considered the junior section here at Target. This is the Wild Fable sweater. So this was a much thinner knit. Uh, I do like the color. Um, I like the cut of this. I just wish it was a little bit longer. I think I could have pulled it off with some high-waisted jeans. Um, I didn't end up buying this, but I did think this was really cute. And I do you know, really like this light purple color. And again, $10. So these are the three um, doorbuster $10 sweaters I could find at my local Target on Saturday. And, you know, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the quality. I realize companies make doorbusters sweaters specifically for this day and maybe aren't the best quality, but these felt nice. And I think it would definitely hold up for this season. So my next stop was JC Penny and they actually had a ton of doorbuster options. And so that was really fun. I had a huge pile of sweaters I tried. And so here's the first one. So this is by the brand St. John's Bay, which I believe is an in-house brand for JC Penny. This is just a traditional cable knit sweater. This is 88% cotton, 12% nylon. This was $9.99. I'm trying it on here in a large, a really bright pink color, but it actually did come in a lot of colors here. I'll show you the rack. You can see there were lots of great choices. I am, um, of course, tried pink. Um, I think this was really cute. I think it's a good deal. I've actually bought these before at previous Black Friday sales, and they do wash and wear really well and do last several seasons. So I think this was a cute option and a pretty good deal. So the next item I found uh, was in the junior section. This is that brand Anna, A-N-A. -A. This was $10. This is a more of an acrylic nylon blend, um, but it was super soft. It did have that longer length in the split hem, which is super cute if you want to wear this with leggings. There were some lots of colors, but not every size was available. So this is actually in a medium, which actually didn't uh, fit too badly. Um, I, I thought this was cute. I definitely think this would be cute for a younger gal who loves to run around in leggings. I also thought it was cute here with jeans. And again, $10. Not sure how this one will wash and wear, but generally I've had good luck with sweaters at JCPenney in terms of, you know, they don't pill too badly. All right, next sweater I really like. This is by the brand Worthington. This was 53% uh, cotton and 40% nylon, 7% rayon. This was one of those thin knits. These came in V-necks and crewnecks, $10. I um, like this V-neck style here. I actually sized up in this. This is an extra large. The large did fit, but it just was a little clingier than I liked. So this is definitely the kind of the, I like this lightweight sweater. So I thought this was a really good deal. And again, they had this in a lot of colors, bold colors and neutrals. So they had like black, white, tan, brown, red. I think there were some mustards, um, lots of, lots of nice shades. Uh, if you need like a sweater to go with some trousers or maybe a patterned skirt. All right, we're back to the junior section. This is the Arizona Jean Company sweater. This is actually 90%, 97% polyester, the rest spandex. This was $14.99. This was super soft. Again, this would be great to wear with leggings. I thought the color blocking was cute and very on trend. Um, this was very oversized. I believe this was maybe even a medium. And you can see it's really oversized to me with the drop shoulder. But again, like for that look, that kind of leggings, oversized sweater look, this would be perfect. And this was a little more expensive. This was $14.99. So I didn't end up getting this, but I thought it was a cute option. All right, next item is again by Worthington. This is a red turtleneck sweater. Again, it's a thin knit, but with that turtleneck color, 
This was also $9.99. Um, I thought this fit nicely. I thought it was cute. I'm not a huge fan of turtlenecks though, so I didn't end up keeping this, but if you like that style of sweater, I thought this was a good, this was a very nice option. Um, I do think the red is really cute. I have a lot of red in my closet though, so another reason why I did not pick this up. Um, we're going to go back to the junior section here in a minute, and I will show you a, one more sweater that I picked up in that area. So again, this is that brand Anna, A-N-A. -A. This is actually that sweater in a size large, and then I picked it up in this like dusty lavender lilac color, and I really like this color. And as I said, this was super soft, so I did pick this up because this just feels like something I would love to wear on the weekends, you know, running errands, doing some housework, maybe playing games with the kids. Again, this was $9.99, can't beat that price. This was a nylon acrylic blend, but it did feel super soft. And I had worn it, I actually did purchase it and I wore it a little bit today and I wasn't feeling too sweaty in it. So hopefully there is, it is more breathable even though it is um, a man-made materials. All right, we're back to the cable knit. This is St. John's Bay. Again, 88% cotton, 12% nylon. This is sort of in a really pretty uh, rich teal color with a crew neck. I like this sweater and I like this color because I don't have a lot of it. So I ended up picking this up because it was, again, $9.99. How can you beat that price, right? Um, I think I did size up on this as well to an XL just so it has a little bit more room. And also, too, with that cotton, I can see it shrinking up a little bit with the first couple washes. Um, we're down to our last sweater. And this one actually is the most expensive thing I'm going to show you guys today. And I didn't realize it until after I tried it on. This is um, a sparkly little sweater by the brand Liz Claiborne. This actually is in a size medium because they didn't have it in a large. It's like a deep purple color. And you can see it's a mock neck and it has these little sparkles at the shoulders. This was $17.99. And I actually grabbed it thinking it was going to be $10.99. Um, and then I realized after the fact that it was $17.99. Um, so this wasn't bad. I, this was the one sweater I thought might pill a little bit. So also too, I'm not a huge fan of the mock neck, but overall, I think JC Penny's really killed it when it came to these black Friday sweaters. They had a lot of great deals. Thank you for watching.